Has anyone else noticed this? You got the MJ Morning Show. It's Q105. MJ here. And uh, Froggy, you left the studio. Roxanne, you left the studio. You know, I'm the only one that stays in here like every minute of every... Wow. Because you're perfect. You want to cook? No, I, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that I don't leave this studio typically. You guys are meandering and wandering uh, you know, typically uh, during the whole morning show, and you guys left. So, Roxanne, you left, and Froggy, you left. Fester actually stayed during the last break, and I Fester stood up, and I'm, I'm looking at Fester. I'm like, oh, my God, what the hell is going on? Because, you know, our line of sight's not very good in here, and, you know, this, this is, the again, the worst radio studio that I've ever worked in in my entire four, uh, entire 40. The, the studio that I had at WCPK in Chesapeake, 1600 AM on your dial in 1982, and the station was built in 1967, uh, that was actually a better studio. But uh, so I, I'm, Fester stands up. I'm able to see Fester's face. I'm like, oh, my God. Guys, have you looked at Fester? Froggy, uh, look, look. You know, I, we don't really make uh, no, nobody uh, makes that contact with each other because we now? can't see. No, 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 no. Is look, look at Fester. Look at him. Okay, face me. Turn. Is that darker than it was? Oh last my! Week? Are you guys kidding me? You dyed your beard. What have you done, <laughs> Fe- dude? You are so. What oh have you God. done? That is ridiculous. <laughs> Fester has this dark black beard. I love it. Oh my! What have you done? Oh my God! Hold on a second. Yeah, I, I, hold on. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I gotta go through my. Uh, you, you guys keep talking. I'm. I'm okay. gonna. I'm gonna go through so my archives here. I gotta go through my sound effects archives, and I gotta find something here quickly. Okay. It's like you put chimney soot on it. Yes, that's or, exactly or, what I did. Oh God. my gosh, chimney it's so dark. I took a bag of uh, charcoal briquettes <laughs> and I just kind of scrubbed Dude, it, and scrubbed it, and scrubbed it. That is ridiculous. Oh yeah, your beard is now. Jet black. Yeah, it was more ridiculous the night I did it. What have you done? Yeah, it's, did it's you dip it. your beard in soy sauce? Yes. No. Yes. yes. <laughs> soy sauce Ooh. is brown. What are you uh, talking about? Well, black soy sauce. I had an octopi <laughs> squirt oh, on me. Dude. I mean, look how gray mine is now compared to yours. I look how old you look. That is Fester. It, it looks ridiculous. Fester, what are you doing? Here's oh, yeah. what Fester did. Listen to this. You look so natural. No one can tell. No, I can't tell. I can't tell. Your beard is like like you took a black sharpie and you. Yeah, that's what it is—a black sharpie, dude. Huh? A black sharpie. Why did you do that? Why did you put? Is that just for men? Just for men gel. It really is. So my jingle's accurate. You look so natural. No one can tell. Just for men gel. No, I can tell. (laughs) We can tell. Oh, I can tell you saw it me is, on Thursday. It is, it's a ridiculous <laughs> fake jet black now. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's All right, like I got to so take a picture it's of this. Blue. It's, 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 <laughs> why? You're not self con I mean, you don't care about what people think. Why so, would you do that? Did your I, wife make it? Yeah, yeah it was uh, Allison bought Stand the, up. Listen, listen. Stand up with your microphone. This is no secret. I, I, I got to zoom in on this. Yeah, it's no secret. Oh, my God. That is ridiculous. Yeah, take a good picture. I am. I'm taking a. Just yeah. st- stand still. I'm trying to take a picture. Oh, it's really dark. Yeah. I didn't notice. All right. It's like the darkest color they had. It's like, it is very chimney suity. Yeah. It's like they had like brown, then dark, then black, and then they had like the soul of Satan. And we but, went with that color. Hold on. <laughs> it's so black. Your beard is so jet black now. It looks like the beard is fake. Okay. Yeah. It looks like the hair. <laughs> it's seriously, it looks like you got like a fake press on, like <laughs> black beard. hair. It is. It's a costume yeah. beard. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you happy about this? So, first of all, if if I grew a beard before my gray days, this is the color it would have been. I have black hair. My but, hair is black. But we're in your gray days now. Now so. I'm in my gray. I'm well into my gray days. And, and now it looks ridiculous. It looks unnatural. It looks so natural no one can tell. No. It looks so natural no one can tell. Hey, listen, Jingle Singer, you can go to hell. Dude. Hey, I'm going to add that line. Hang on a minute. You look so natural no one can tell. And you jingle singer can go to hell. How old is that jingle? It's probably the 1990s. <laughs> <laughs> God. Mm-hmm. No, it, it looks good. It went on. You know what? Your wife thinks that looks good? So, so she, did you scare your kids with that thing? They were horrified. Oh, I'm sure yeah, they yeah, were. Yeah. So you brush it in 
and then you have to wait five minutes. Five minutes? Looks like you waited five hours. And then you shower <laughs> it out. <laughs> no, it's just five minutes. But you know what? I bet when you brushed it in, like on your cheeks, was it all black, like paint? No, no. If you do it in five minutes, it's not. If you're like, you fall asleep and go back in, you know, four hours, then it like dyes hey, your skin. I'm going to tell a funny story. Okay. Do you remember the Just for Men beard deal with BJ out in Las Vegas? No. Sounds familiar. Uh, I don't know if I've ever told the story on the air. I might have, but we were at the Radio Music Awards. So this was an ABC thing, and it was a- another award show that was on for, I don't know, maybe three seasons or so. It was another award, another worthless, meaningful, me- meaningless award show. Terrible award. It, it, it was not a good award show. I mean, you, listen, for music, you've got... The American Music Awards, you get the Grammys, which really is the gold standard. When it comes down to it, the only music awards show that matters, it's the Grammys. Yeah. That's it. But you had, you know, the American Music Awards, and then there was a creation uh, just to, you know, come up with revenue. And it was a show called the Radio Music Awards. And BJ, back during the MJ and BJ show, there was uh, a, I guess it was, it was in Vegas... And we were invited out to present. So it was the Radio Music Awards uh, presented by uh, you know, radio stations across America. And I don't know how they came up with who the hell gets the award. But they flew uh, me and BJ out. So the MJ and BJ show. And this was on ABC television. This was on like ABC, like on a Saturday night, live from Vegas. I think it was from the MGM or something. Yeah, we all went. Yeah, was, the, was whole, the whole show went out. It was a great trip to Vegas. Yes. And BJ and I were on stage on ABC Network, and we were presenting an award. Was that the flow? Who, who'd we? Nelly. Ne- was it Nelly? Nelly? No, it was Cisco. Was oh, Cisco. Cisco. Nelly wasn't even yeah, around no, no, back then. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. It was we a were, song guy. We were presenting a song. Exactly. We were presenting an award to Nelly for, I don't know, the greatest summertime radio Cisco. hit. Cisco. Oh, Cisco. Oh, what, 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 what did I say? You said Nelly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to confuse you, Nelly you threw, and Cisco. You threw Nelly into my head. I'm sure so I'm not the first person was, to confuse those it two. It was Cisco, who I don't know what the hell he does these days. Oh, he... He now makes, uh, I think, computer networking products, yeah, right? Yeah, he does. Is that what, what he does? <laughs> he's, he's doing, doing just really fine for himself. <laughs> yeah, different spelling. So we're presenting, BJ and I were on stage, and prior to the award show, BJ, I guess, wanted to get the gray out of his beard, and BJ used Just For Men gel to right. make his goatee <laughs> and mustache darker instead of having gray. So this is, you know, I think hours prior to the show. And I go to BJ's hotel room and the Just For Men gel, the dark uh, coloring was was smeared all over the walls. What's, I mean, what happened? The, the, the hotel room was ruined. There was, I don't know what the hell happened, but there was Just For Men gel from BJ's beard all over like the door frame, the door, <laughs> all over the wallpaper. And I'm telling you. That's the, inexplicable. The room was ruined. It looked like he took the product and painted it on the walls. <laughs> it was smeared. There were streaks everywhere. I'm like, dude, what have you done? And he didn't have an explanation. <laughs> what but the hell? It, it was <laughs> so weird. When when he relinquished that room when when he checked out uh-huh. and then the, like the housekeeping came in when the maid service came in they were probably like oh my god they probably had a call down to like engineering they had a call down to their management to come up I I I'm guessing they did not re rent that room until they fixed it I mean because it, yeah there, there were smears of black dye all over the entire hotel room in Las Vegas. He was frustrated putting it on, maybe? I, I still don't have an explanation on why it was all over the place. It was, it was almost like he got it all over his hand. Did they give you gloves? <laughs> Does it come with, like, little latex gloves in there? I, I don't know. I, I didn't apply it. It came with, like, a little brush. What do you mean you didn't apply well, it? Well, my wife applied it. I See, leaned back. And she 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 brushed it in. Did oh, she, Allison did that to you? This this is her, oh, my God. This, this is her idea. This is what? her idea. Did she have gloves on when she did it? Do you recall? I don't think she had gloves I on. I just asked that yeah. question. Yeah. No, Why? I don't, I don't think it came with... He doesn't know. I don't know if it came with gloves. I don't know if... I don't think she had gloves on. It comes like a like a little toothbrush for people with one teeth. One tooth. So BJ 
had it all over his hands and then touched the walls and the door. And there was, I'm telling you, more product was all over the hotel room walls than was in his beard. Did he just panic? Like, get me I out don't of know. here. No. Get me I, out of here. Like he was miming and touching the doors. I do not know <laughs> what the hell happened. Wow. I have no clue whatsoever. But that's my Just for Men uh, story with uh, BJ from the MJ Morning Show. And now Festa comes in with this ridiculously jet black, totally unnatural looking beard, which is completely hysterical. She looks so natural, no one can tell. Just for men, just. No, you don't look very natural, man. They call this color <laughs> Billy Mays Black. It looks like you dipped your <laughs> face in, like, uh, road tar. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, like a road crew came by my street <laughs> and I just said, hold on, boys, and I dipped my face right into the vat of asphalt. Man, it's so dark. It, yeah. I'm telling you. I, I, I gotta, did I take a picture? I did. I yeah. took a picture. This stuff works. I got to post this damn thing. Hey, tag me on Instagram at Fester Sucks. <laughs> Fe- I love it when oh, that's people right. do that. That's right. Your new in- no, no. His his, his new Instagram handle is Fester Sucks. That's you yeah. didn't know that? No, yeah, I knew oh, that, okay. but I think All it's right. you know. Listen, you're just so cool that you suck. I do suck. <laughs> 